Hi Taurus, so this video applies to anyone that has their sun, their moon, or ascendant in the sign of Taurus. So let's begin by saying this month you're feeling good, Taurus. You're having a new moon on the 8th in your 10th house of your career, your reputation, your work, your public standing in the world, and the way that authorities view you. So this new moon, you're sending new intentions for new opportunities in your career. This is really good energy for that, really good energy to go out there and set new intentions for that. If you want to look good, if you want to feel good about your accomplishments as well, Taurus. On the 13th, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to be also moving into your 10th house. So good for networking, good time for communicating with authorities, good time for talking to people at your job or trying to get a promotion, really kind of moving around and really socializing with people at work um, as well. And then on that day, we also have Mars is going to be sextiling uh, Jupiter. So this is really good because Mars is in your opposite sign. Mars is in your seventh house right now in your in the way that you're communicating with other people in relationships. So you're going for it. You're feeling optimistic with this um, with this beautiful um, sex um, sextile that day. That energy is going to be really good for you to feel good and optimistic about what's happening. Um, really good time for learning too. Um, looking good to authorities. Really nice. Really nice month. And then too we have on the sixteenth. Venus, the planet of love and pleasure, your ruling planet is going to move into your 10th house. It's going to make you look good. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to want to make you probably change a little bit of things at work, maybe your appearance or trying something new with a new style or something like that for work. Um, also to being very diplomatic and uh, meeting a lot of friends um, at work, being more social at work, a little bit more charming. Try also not to be a little bit aggressive or let people step on your toes too much too, Taurus, because also with Mars in Scorpio, it tends to give a little bit of aggression, a little bit of aggressive energy um, with other people, your partnerships. This could be in your love relationships. This could be in your friendships. And this can also be in um, relationships that you have in terms of your business. So just be a little careful with that kind of energy as well. The sun is beaming right now, like shining as I'm talking. And then... On the 19th, that beautiful sun that's beaming right here is going to be going into your 11th house. So it's going to be highlighting your social life, highlighting your goals, your objectives for yourself, what you want for you, Toro. What do you want for you? It's going to be really emphasizing your bigger dreams and really giving energy for you to really take hold of that go after it, really focusing on your friends, your social groups, and also your love relationships, bringing a more focus to the relationships that you have with your lover. This is really good energy right now for you. <laughs> I'm happy. On the 11, on the 22nd, excuse me, we have a full moon in your fifth house of love, romance, your, your creative expression, your sexual desires and your joy, your children or the children that you have in your life or the feeling, uh, how do you feel about children? So this full moon is really going to be, um, whatever you've been working on here, whatever has been happening, this full moon is also going to be having Mars in your seventh house, squaring, um, the moon that's going to be happening in your fifth house here. So this is a really, uh, big energy for a lot of sexual um, tension, a uh, sexual emotional energy as well. The need to protect what's yours, the need to protect your children, your creative work, your creative endeavors, and your sexual feelings and emotions as well. You may be feeling really sexual. Really good time to really enjoy your creativity. If any of you guys are artists, this is a really good time to put a lot of that work into your art or into whatever type of music that you may be doing. This is really good energy for that for you, Taurus. So I hope you enjoy your month. Um, Again, I'll see you next month and write comments. Let me see how your month goes, Toro. I love um, to hear, to see the interactions. I love that. Thank you so much. I'll see you next month, Taurus.